We now come to the energies of the orbitals, right? In the hydrogen atom, okay, in hydrogen atom or hydrogen like atoms or hydrogen like atoms. We have only so 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 we, we mean to say the monoelectronic species, okay? The monoelectronic species. Because, because hydrogen is a monoelectronic atom, others will be monoelectronic ion, right? So we use the word species to, to include both the atoms as well as the ions. So in hydrogen, in, in, in hydrogen atom or ions, there is only one thing that is at play, and that is the attractive, the attraction between the nucleus and the electron. Right? There is only one force which is attracted towards Paul at play, right? There is only one force at play. So what happens? The energy is directly proportional to the distance from the nucleus and it depends solely on N. So here the energy depends on the distance of the electron from the nucleus from the nucleus that is it depends on that is it depends on the principal quantum number n okay it depends on n solely so, so what happens? Now, what is the repercussion of this? The repercussion is this: that thus the energy of all the orbitals. for a given n are the same correct because it only depends on the distance fine so what happens so what happens so, so, so we may write that that the energy of energy of 1s has to be less than 2s, correct? 2s is farther away from the nucleus. This is the nucleus. 1 is here. 2 is there. Right? Now what happens? An electron present here, if it has to be carried here, it has to be carried against the attractive force. So who will do the work? The external, the external agency. It will have to take it away from here and the nucleus will try to try to bring it towards itself. So, so you are doing the work, right? Who is doing the work? The external agency. That work gets stored as energy. Okay, that, that we see in work energy theorem. This is called the work energy theorem. So you will do the work. 
the farther you that's why the farther you take it from the nucleus the higher will be the energy get that so 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 2s is at a higher energy and how about 2p because there is a 2p as well is it not there is a 2p as well so 2p will be having the the same energy only the distance matters now this will be less than 3s and once we come to 3s how many possible how many subshells are there s p d correct 3s 3p 3d they will be the same correct which is again less than 4s which will be equal to 4p which is equal to 4d which is equal to 4f okay if if i try to draw the let's say this is the energy this this represents the energy right then which has the least energy which of them has the least energy 1s so 1s is somewhere like here i name it 1s then see 2s is at a higher energy right so so 2s and 2p is alongside so 2p do we get that 3s is at a higher energy right so this is 3s this is 3p and 3d for s for b for d for a at the same energy level okay fine these orbitals which have the same energy are called degenerate orbitals the orbitals the orbitals having the same energy having the same energy Degenerate orbitals. Degenerate orbitals. Okay. So they are at the same energy level. Correct. why should that happen because because there is no electron electron repulsion okay this happens here due to no electron electron repulsion that is what we we'll exactly find when we come to multi electron atoms fine so so this is fairly rare okay because this is only for for hydrogen atom or all other neutral atoms right i'm not talking about hydrogen like atoms or all, or other all other neutral atoms like helium like helium lithium and so on so on this will not be the case so the 
so that so 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 the energy will not be the same for a given quantum number it will also vary depending on l and just just try to find a flashback to the past we have said that energy mostly depends on n but also depends on l and not only that it depends on the sum of n and l right that is what we will do the next 